Ladies and gentlemen, the Hummer EV Pickup. To turn the car on, holding down the brake, hit the power button, and here we go. I think the destination is already inputted into here. Whoa, there's a light on the steering wheel. Do you see that? And then here's uh, here's our dashboard right here, our all digital dash. Greetings from sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, where GMC invited me and my brother Daron to spend about a day and a half with the Hummer EV pickup truck. GMC set up a packed schedule for us. We went off-roading in the desert, tested the Hummer's autonomous driving capabilities on the highway, and overall just got a really good taste of what this electric beast is capable of. Every Hummer EV pickup you see in this video, including the one I got to drive for like four hours on the second day, is the $110,000 Edition 1, which has long been sold out on GMC's website. I'm gonna take you through the two days of our Hummer EV pickup truck adventure in Arizona. The first day's event took place in the afternoon, adjacent to the Arizona Cardinals football stadium. GMC set up a few stations that focused on different aspects of the truck and had engineers and designers on site to answer questions. One station had just the sled of the vehicle with the triple motor configuration and battery casings visible. I thought this was really cool to see. The Hummer EV pickup has two stacked layers of those battery cases, 12 on each layer, so a total of 24. And in each of those cases is 24 batteries, 576 batteries total, giving this truck an impressive 329 mile range. We were able to go inside all of these trucks, so I spent time here getting footage of the exterior and interior. My 1985 Jordan 1s match the white and black colorway perfectly. I think GMC did a great job with the body design. It's got modern curves that, to me, make the truck feel like a true electric rebirth of the Hummers from the 2000s. It's got Hummer branding across the headlights as well as on the rear, which I'm fond of. And then the small Hummer EV branding on the driver and passenger doors. These Hummers have towing lugs on the front and the rear of the truck, and this thing can tow 7,500 pounds or roughly 3,400 kilograms, according to GMC's website. Now, I'm no truck expert, but this feels like a big vehicle. It's got an extract mode, which uses air suspension to give this truck 16 inches of ground clearance. They had one with it engaged, and it's just so high off the ground. There's so much space in those wheel wells. I felt like a boss climbing into the truck like this. The Hummer EV pickup has a decently sized bed back there. I sat comfortably with my legs extended. Now I'm five feet, eight inches or about 172 centimeters. And yes, there's an outlet back there. And the tonneau cover is motorized. I'm a sucker for moving mechanical things and I was a very happy camper watching this thing in action. The inside of the Hummer EV pickup is nice. Two-tone finish on the seats, the doors, center console and dashboard makes this feel premium to me. I'm a big fan of the handles up front as well as in the rear. Yes, I know they're standard in most trucks and SUVs, but these handles in the Hummer are especially diesel. The Hummer pickup seats five passengers comfortably. Really spacious interior, even in the back seats. Doesn't feel cramped at all, especially with those roof panels removed. More on this later. There's unique storage compartments in the back seats and the center has a cup holder. Up in the driver's seat, you'll notice the 13.4 inch touchscreen to control many elements of the car. This user interface is actually powered by Epic Games' Unreal Engine and was created in collaboration with a design firm called Perception that's done work for many superhero movies. There are six icons on the left side of the screen and each opens its own submenu. And depending on which menu you go into, you get even more options. It's all laid out nicely from left to right. I think it'll just take some time to get used to knowing where all of the settings are. Below the touchscreen is two rows of physical buttons because physical buttons are still good. 
Yes, dedicated buttons to control the AC, for example. A physical button to lock the rear differential. Good things to have in a truck like this. The digital dashboard is also quite large at 12.3 inches and shows you things like battery percentage, drive mode, directions, speed, time, and temperature. And while you're driving, it shows you how much power you're drawing, which is cool. And it even turns green when you're putting energy back into the vehicle by going down a hill, let's say. The steering wheel is also nice. It's got a bunch of buttons on it and it actually lights up for some of the autonomous driving features, which we'll cover later. The center console has a large storage storage compartment with a removable tray, and you've got the drive selector and drive mode dial up front as well. The animations that appear on the screen when you turn the dial are next level. The truck blasts through a portal and the environment changes. Like, is this a video game? It's so sick. For that first day, GMC also set up a launch sequence in the parking lot where we got to experience what the company calls Watts to Freedom, 1,000 horsepower of instant electric torque. Keep in mind, the Hummer EV pickup weighs 9,000 pounds. It does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3 seconds, and it's got phenomenal braking too. I got to watch this truck launch a handful of times before it was my turn to experience the power. The left foot's on the brake, right foot's all the way to the floor right now. Oh. Then when you're ready to go, you yeah. just drop the brake pedal. Whoa, okay, so it's really a launch. Ready? Yep. Whoa! <laughs> oh my, oh my mother God, dude. Holy It's a ride. Mike, that was, that was up. Dude, I was not expecting that. Holy Parallel to the launch site is where we got to demo Crab Walk. Crab Walk is a special mode that enables the car to drive diagonally at low speeds. The wheels are facing the same direction. It's a pretty wild sensation feeling a truck, especially one this size, maneuver like this. Crab mode will help with parallel parking or just getting in and out of a tight environment. Next to the launch site was a miniature off-road course that GMC built to give us a cute sample of the off-roading we do the next day. The truck was in terrain mode for this test drive and I took it nice and slow around this little track. And then at the end was a circle that was meant to demonstrate the tight turning this truck is capable of. And I'm not an expert by any means. And honestly, I don't even drive that often, let alone trucks this size. So my first go was like a 50 point turn. The second time I only needed to reverse once. And I wanted to see how it was supposed to be done. So one of the GMC engineers on site got in the driver's seat and executed that circle flawlessly. And it was pretty satisfying to watch. So that was day one, which again was more or less half a day. And the evening concluded with a dinner with the Hummer EV team from GMC on this roof structure in the parking lot of a football stadium. Kinda nuts. The next morning, we got to pick one of eight Hummer EV pickups that were all ready to go in the parking lot of the hotel. All right, it's about 8.30 in the morning here in Arizona. It's beautiful, it's sunny, drones in the passenger seat. We're about to drive to a trail. It's supposed to be roughly an hour. This is my first time driving a Hummer, driving an electric Hummer on the road. Let's go. The drive out was wonderful. Arizona is so sunny and beautiful, and the truck just added to the epicness of the whole thing. By the way, there's a few GMC vehicles that have level two autonomous driving capabilities, and this Hummer EV pickup is one of them. So I'm on the highway, and I've been told that this car has some autonomous driving features. It's called uh, Super Cruise. So adaptive cruise control has to be turned on, which I believe it is. And then I press this button over here. Cruise, con cruise braking on, adaptive cruise set. That was, that came up on the screen way fast, but there's like a green glow on the steering wheel now. So this is what I see. Notice the, the steering wheel has a light built in and the car is not asking me to keep my hands on the wheel. So I, I, I'm not sure if I even have to keep my hands on the wheel, but the, right lane to stay on the car the is, is very much driving for me right now. Super Cruise disengaging, take control of the vehicle. The seat vibrates in this car, by the way. Like when, when it just warned me like that, there's haptic feedback in the seat. So I've noticed that when I'm in super cruise mode and the truck wants to change lanes, it turns on the blinker 
changes the lanes and then disengages the blinker. I later learned that there's this little sensor on the steering wheel that's watching your eyes to make sure you're paying attention to the road. The drive out to the desert was great and Super Cruise was impressive on the highway. I felt very comfortable letting the truck do a good amount of the driving work. When we finally arrived at the trail, Michael from the Hummer team at GMC hopped in the back of our truck and was basically my guide on this trail that I got to drive through. We drove about 40 minutes uphill through some super treacherous terrain, switching between off-road mode and terrain mode, depending on what the ground was like. I've never been off-roading like this in my life, but I gotta say, I was impressed with how well this truck handled anything that came in its path. And not just me, there were a total of 10 Hummers out there on this drive. When we reached the top, I sent up the drone to get this shot, and then it was time for our descent. Like the climb up, the Hummer did a fantastic job of tackling any and all terrain that we drove over. I was pretty cautious on the ride down also, but after seeing what this truck can do going uphill, I felt more confident going downhill. After our descent, I got to see more cool features of this super truck. First, the back window rolls down. There's a button up front that controls it. And this just blew my mind, mostly because I've never seen a window this wide move. Do other trucks do this? Leave a comment and let me know. Another cool feature, not unique to the Hummer EV, but dope nonetheless, is the screen that's embedded in the rear view mirror. A quick flip of that lever activates the rear camera to give you a much wider field of view of what's behind you. It's a nice thing to have. Also, the driver's seat basically can lay flat. I'm not sure about the passenger seat, but you could see the surprise joy in my face when I just kept holding the button and the seat kept lowering. I think my favorite thing about the Hummer EV pickup is the removable roof panels, essentially making this truck a hard top convertible. All four panels come off and get this, there's storage for these panels in the front trunk. So you can take them with you on your adventure in case it rains or something. And yes, you can drive the Hummer EV pickup in up to nearly three feet of water. We didn't get to do this, but now you know. So the roof panels go in these pizza box looking styrofoam molds and you would never know that they were in there because of how the storage compartments are designed. Major kudos to the design team for this. And as if this wasn't enough, the front eye bar is also removable and there's storage for it under the rear bench. Insane. We drove back to the hotel with that top down. I mean, the roof panels removed and it was such a treat feeling the wind blow through my hair and the sun beam down on my skin in an electric Hummer. It's worth quickly mentioning the sound system in the Hummer EV pickup. It's great. The last thing I did with the truck was actually get the intro shot for this video and film a TikTok. I'm getting close to 750,000 followers on there, so go ahead and follow me if you're not already. My time spent with the Hummer EV pickup was excellent. I wish we could have done even more. After driving this Hummer and making this video, I'm still amazed that GMC revived the brand and electrified what once was the gas guzzling boxy behemoth of the early 2000s. It is awesome to see a legacy car manufacturer like GM make a strong commitment to electric vehicles. They say 30 EV models available by 2025, and they plan to completely eliminate gas cars from their lineup by 2035. The future is definitely electric. And after driving a freaking electric Hummer, that future is inching towards us one vehicle at a time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. That trip to Arizona was honestly so sick. Big thank you to GMC and Michael and the rest of the team for A, inviting me and Daron and B, being so accommodating. If there's an opportunity to spend time with the Hummer EV SUV in the future, please let me know. And speaking of that SUV, if you haven't seen it, I made a video on that truck last year in April. I went to a dealership in New Jersey. That's linked below for you to watch. And if you made it to the end of this video and you don't know who I am, Hi, my name is Sam Sheffer. I live in New York City. This is my studio. And I make technology videos right here on this YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed the video you just watched, there's a big red subscribe button that you can click to see more of my content. Shout out to everyone that's been tuning in to the daily live streams. Yes, I've been going live on YouTube every day for about two months and we have a lot of fun. Every day, 10 a.m. Eastern to noon Eastern is when I'm live, just youtube.com slash Sam 
please smash that like button on the way out, and I will catch you in the next upload or in the next live stream.